。好，下一位。Mr. Paul Simmerman, Southern District Councillor. Chairman, representatives of government, and one legislator. I'd like to make a, a few points um, on this um, uh, study. One is that the public transport operators are private, opera are private businesses and they win a contract to provide a public transport service. In the contracts with them, we should also now make it a mandatory that they provide public transport information. And this goes beyond um, just kind of uh, where is the bus? This goes, this got to go much further than that. This got to make sure that we know how many people are on the bus and we know how many people are boarding or got off at which bus stop. We don't have to know who they are, but we have to know the numbers. Now, normally these operators consider this private, commercial and confidential information, which is hard for the transport department to find out. They have to do separate surveys, but all the information could be available with GPSs, which are cheap, and by linking up the octopus <coughs> facilities on the bus, we would know it instantly. Now, in other cities that are now considering themselves smart cities, as we like to do, this information is considered open data that should be mandatory, streamed online by those operators, and it should be open and freely accessible for all people in the community to make use of. Then people will organize new phone apps, People will use that information to do analysis and so on. Is this good or bad for the bus operators? And ultimately, it will not have an impact on their business. What it will do is that maybe some mini bus operators will start to adjust their service because of loading data that they can monitor online or taxis start to show up at places where it's very busy. So the overall impact is that the transport service available to the Hong Kong community will dramatically improve. And that is what is important. The overall impact on the bus companies will be limited because they will have their role within the transport network and the minibuses and taxis have their role, but everybody will be able to be more responsive to the actual traffic and transport situations. So, Therefore, we urge the government to make sure that in their agreements with the operators, it is not just about providing public transport service, but it is also about providing public transport information. I'd like to make two separate points. One is, why are there uh, no seats at the bus stops in the new territories and the public puts their own seats out? All crummy seats that they put in there themselves, why is that? And the other point I'd like to make is, we should make shorter buses. Shorter buses have a, have a shorter tail and they don't block as much traffic. Thank you.